Obstetric fistula. The term is little known in the Western world where the phenomenon all but disappeared half a century ago. With International Women's Day approaching, it is important to remember that this injury continues to exist. It affects two million women, mainly in Africa. Fistula develops during complicated childbirth if appropriate medical care is not available. They don't have the opportunity either to go to a hospital, to reach the hospital, or there is no hospital, or they don't have the money to go to the hospital and to pay the treatment. So they stay at home and they are in labor for hours and hours, for days. The child dies. Before the child dies, the pressure of the head into the pelvis reveals the fistula. If you have a pressure on the tissue all the time, there will be a necrosis and this will become a fistula. Obstetric fistula is a hole in the birth canal, an injury that causes women to become incontinent. Stigmatized and isolated by the community, women are often chased away from their own home. She is a woman of 23 years old. So she spent four days in labor, basically. And then uh, she got a C-section in Kilwa, but the baby was already, uh, was already dead. After I found out I had a fistula, my husband left me. I used to work in the fields and I had friends, but now I've distanced myself from my community. I don't work, I just wait for my parents to provide for me. I'm weak, I can't do much. Better access to obstetric care and fistula repair surgery programs need to be developed. Médecins Sans Frontières is working on both these aspects with the Ministry of Health at Jahan Hospital in Nigeria. Women with fistulas come here for surgery. After the operation, they receive physiotherapy and psychological care before returning to their community. From last year until now, we can see the trend of the increasing the patient admission, even the delivery. I think that's, that's the way that people more trust you, so they are coming. Even normal delivery, they're coming. MSF is working in three fistula treatment centers in Burundi, Chad and Nigeria. In more unstable regions, temporary facilities are set up for a couple of months and large numbers of women are treated within that time. Such is the case here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2010, MSF operated on and treated approximately a thousand women with fistula.